Good morning, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. It is mid-July, the garlic looks terrible, which is exactly what we want because it's time to pull it. Over here on the right are my soft neck garlic and you can see a lot of them are just flopping and leaning and listing. So the soft neck is definitely ready. It looks like the hard neck's probably ready too, but I'm gonna have to dig one up to see. In the meanwhile, let's get to some of this. I'm gonna start poking around out here and then we'll lift them out with the spade. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Oh, oh, look at the size of that. Look at that, nice. Okay, let's get the rest of this out of here. This is garlic that we planted last year back in November. And it's so cool to see it coming up now. I'd say we got some respectable ones. There's some. They're not giant, but they're definitely respectable size. There's some that are a little more wee, but that's okay too, they still eat. Let's find out about that hard neck now. All right, let's see, we'll do a test one and if it's not big enough, we will come back next week. Let's see. Oh, oh. That's not bad. All right, let's dig them. Last year, what we planted was elephant garlic, which are actually a kind of leek. So this whole garlic thing is brand new to me. So check this out. We've got lots of open space now, and I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna put in over here. So the hard neck worked out about as well as the soft neck. There were some, definitely some little bitty ones, um, but also there are more than a few respectable ones. So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I probably got about 20 of the hard neck and another 10 of the soft neck. Let's go hang them up. I've got my garlic out here on the porch and I've got a little, a little brushy brush and these great hanging screens that Bill put together for me. So what I'm planning to do here is I'm gonna use my little brush to just take off the big stuff. And I'm being careful not to mess with the paper on this too much. We want the paper as intact as possible. And then I'm just gonna hang these. And I'm just bending them over so that they've got lots of airflow on the other side. So I'm just gonna bend them over like that to keep them in place. Oh, this one's little. See, and it got beat up a bit. So. All right, so this one got beat up a little bit. You can see, I may have nicked it with the spade, but we'll hang this up, but this one's not for storage. This one we'll use in the kitchen soon. All the 
garlic is hung up and we are here out of direct light. We're in really good ventilation out here. We want to make sure that they dry really, really well and we don't get any mold going on here. Um, I have tried to place them so that the garlic is a little bit away from the green bits. The hard neck was a little tougher to do, a little more challenging. Some of my, some of my stalks, you'll see they split on one side when I bent them over. That's okay, that's okay, they will hold. The soft neck, it looks like, did a little bit better than the hard neck. A lot of the hard neck garlic is little, um, especially like this guy up here. So tiny, but they are well formed. You can feel the cloves in there. So that's good news. And we do have some of these bigger ones. So I'm feeling good about this harvest. I'm feeling good about it. And that's pretty much all that's gonna be going on here. We'll let these hang for about two weeks. Um, if it gets rainy, we'll bring them inside and I will stash them down in the basement for us. Um, but after, after about two weeks, we're gonna trim the hardneck garlic. We'll take the root off and then we'll cut the stem down to about two, three inches tall and snip those. Those will go in a mesh bag or a wire basket or something and hang out in the dark in the basement. And then the soft neck, we'll see what we've got in a couple of weeks and if we can braid them. So thanks for hanging out today while I dug the garlic and I will catch you up soon. Take care.